It was a night of absolute extremes. It was a nightmare. You nailed it. You nailed it. There were performances to die for. He's the best puzzle double of every celebrity of every series I've ever seen. And performances that just plain die. Honestly, it is time to go. Will your vote save Master P again? Live, this is Dancing with the Stars. Hollywood. This is Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> oh, I hope you're ready for this. Welcome to our all new, all live results show. I'm Tom Bergeron. And I'm Samantha Harris. It was another night of extraordinary performances. The level of competition was incredible for the most part. Throughout the next hour, we'll be revealing which of our stars has been saved. And for one couple, they'll find out that tonight is the end of the road. And if that's not enough excitement, the Pussycat Dolls will perform for you. There's a hot, sexy salsa demonstration and a sneak preview into the free dance rituals of our stars. So here's a reminder of the dances and drama that made up last night's show. It was another night of pure ballroom competition as six celebrities rose to the occasion while one came crashing down. The adrenaline was pumping as Drew and Cheryl thrilled the crowd with the dance of the night. He's the best puzzle double of every celebrity of every series I've ever seen. I don't know if it's the best pasta doble ever, but I think it's the best pasta doble I could possibly do. As usual, Stacy was burning up the floor and hot on Drew's heels. You can't teach talent, and this and she's is got it. I thought the fox and foxtrot, he said. The biggest mover of the night was Lisa Rinna, charging into the top three with a dramatic Paso Doble. You came out and I thought we were gonna go back to stiff Lisa again, but you nailed it! You nailed it. Wow! Because, you know, I kind of look up to Stacy and Drew, like they're my idols. <laughs> Boy, I'd like to be there someday. <laughs> well, we're getting close. Wow! After a tough week, Jerry Rice proved he is still the ultimate competitor. You've gone from zero to hero, absolutely right. For the first time, I really had a great time. It was just like scoring a touchdown for me. Tia recovered from an early stumble to land a solid performance and stay in the hunt. Foxes trot at a very strange pace. Once again, George entertained, but his fighting performance needed more dance and less dazzle. What's so great about you, half of your performance comes from your face. And I felt like we lost a lot by having you have that mask. I think that they want me to do some more intricate just steps and maybe lay off the acting. So I may go on strike and dance next week totally nude. After weeks of controversy, Master P took to the floor, mortifying the judges with the dance of death. I know the viewers think they're being kind in bringing you back. They're not. They're being cruel to you, to Ashley, to the judges. Honestly, it is time to go. Two. I don't think that's ever been a score given on Dancing with the Stars. That was the first. We already know they out to get us, so it's cool. I will say it was a lot better than an eight. I don't know what they're judging, really. Do you think that P is committed? Well, there's, yeah, you know, that's a tough question. <laughs> 
The votes are in. Who will you save? And who will be sent home? competition. Let's see how the judges ranked our couples on the leaderboard. In top place with the judges are Drew and Cheryl with 28 out of 30. Tied for second place with 26, Stacy and Tony and Lisa and Louie. And in fourth place, Tia and Maxim with 25. Jerry and Anna are fifth with 24 out of 30. At the bottom in sixth place, George and Edita with 21. And in last place are P and Ashley with eight. Before we find out the first of our couples who will be returning to dance again next week, we've got a special treat for you. Every week our judges will decide which performance they felt was the most entertaining from the previous night's show, not necessarily the highest ranking, but the dance that made them smile. And this one counts on both. This performance will not make a difference to their scores. It's really just for us to enjoy again and to make them work harder. So this week's judges encore is the Paso Doble from Drew and Cheryl. Dancing the Paso Doble, Drew Lachey and his partner, Cheryl Burke. for Drew and Cheryl have already been counted, so that won't count for or against them. Great job, guys. Right now, our female stars are backstage with Samantha, watching their performances back for the first time. That's right, Tom. All right, I'm back here with Tia and Max, Stacey and Tony, and Lisa and Louie. Let's take a look at their performances from last night, starting with Tia and Max's Foxtrot. Now, there was a little bit of a stumble there, but what exactly happened? Well, I zigged when I was supposed to zag. Really, that's what happened. I was supposed to go two to the left, two to the right. I went three, and just everything came tumbling down after that. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look at Stacy and Tony's dance. Oh, we can see right now, actually, in the monitor. Again. Yeah, that's, well, that, that was a zig, and I was zagging. But I, I like to think that I made up for it in the presentation at the end, you know, and all that stuff. Well, the stuff. judges' scores reflected that. So, all right, let's take a look at Stacy and Tony's Foxtrot from last night. Get your prayer each thing I do is just something you see a memory from your lonesome past keeps us so far apart. 
Now that was a pretty complex routine, but what would you say is the trickiest part? Because you make it all look so easy. Well, it's not, and I think everybody here can uh, testify that it is not as easy as it looks, anything that we're doing. Those steps look like Tony and I are just gliding and walking around the dance floor, but it's really like toe, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel, toe, whatever. And I was like stressing <laughs> out so bad before I went out there. Like, is it a heel? Is it a toe? Is it a heel? Because if not, we don't. We don't get the lilt and tell I, I get it, all right. Lisa and Louis, let's take a look at your Paso Doble from last night. Yes. Such a powerful performance. Was that the best time you ever performed it? Well, actually, I don't know. Was it? No, it wasn't. <laughs> no. All right. Well, the rehearsal is a little bit better. Well, you know, something happened to me during that dance. Halfway through, some higher power came in and started dancing through me. And it was I a strong. It was a strong one too. I don't know performance. what it was, but it was good. <laughs> it was I'm good. Glad. All right. Well, thank you so much, everyone. Of course, great performances, Tom. Thanks, Samantha. I thought George was supposed to stay 100 feet away from Stacy at all times. I, I'm not clear on that. After the break, we'll reveal the first two couples to be saved by your votes. And in the ballroom, it's the hottest women in Hollywood, aside from our stars, of course, the Pussycat Dolls. Join us after this. to Dancing with the Stars, the results show. In just a few minutes, we'll reveal the first two couples who have been saved by your votes. But first, some dancing of a different kind. That's right. Since they first debuted on the Sunset Strip, they've been the hottest and hippest ticket in Hollywood with their new hit single, Don't Ya. Please welcome the Pussycat Dolls. <laughs> Many weddings. 
I'm happy to say, though, they will be back later in the show. Right now, Samantha's backstage with more revelations from our stars. That's right, Tom. I sure am. And, of course, I've got the gentlemen, except for Drew and Cheryl, since we already saw their Paso Doble. So let's take a look at their dances from last night. We'll start with George and Edita's. <laughs> That. You know, I gotta say, George, Edna told me that you never missed a step, but you threw in a few new ones? Well, I, I didn't even know where I was. I thought I was at, still at the Sunrise Senior Citizens Home doing the big party, and someone said, you're dancing, so I started dancing. Very nice. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look at P and Ashley's Paso Doble. That all I have to do is worry. Uh, I gotta say, this is the dance, of course, of the bullfight fight. So how did you channel your inner matador? I tell you what, man. I was out there dancing, doing the best I could, and I'm not the bad guy no more. The little judges, me and George, go to the car, George. <laughs> I tell you what, we have guns. Wait, who, who is this voice you're doing here? I tell you, I'm, somebody's not going to come back alive. I'm Tony Mantana, a political refugee, oh, yeah, man. I come it. over here. Very nice. All right, before we have a whole, a whole thing break out here, let's go ahead and take a look at something a little fancier. George, I mean, sorry, George, just kidding. Jared, Jerry, and Anna's Foxtrot. <laughs> You looked like you had so much fun with all that smiling. Was it as fun as you made it look? Yeah, it was fun, but George, uh, he gave me his butt pads. <laughs> uh, so you're bouncing around. I had to let the cat out of the bag. Yep, <laughs> butt pads. <laughs> that did it for me, yeah. Right. <laughs> Obviously, you can tell we have a lot of fun back here. And the sad thing is that one of these couples will be going home tonight. Tom? All right, so here's the update. Last night, Lisa Renna channeled a higher power, and uh, tonight, Master P channeled Rich Little. Just so we're up to date. In just a few moments, we'll reveal the first two couples to be dancing in next week's show. But first, you've seen them in training for their dances each week. What you haven't seen is how superstitious they are. Here are the rituals they go through before they step onto the dance floor. Opening titles in 10, One nine, eight, eight, seven, seven Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. I know a lot of the other couples have developed these pre-show rituals. For Cheryl and I, it's pretty cut and dry. Say, so, all right, good luck. Let's go have some fun. All the hard work and the, the preparation, everything that was done in the past, now it's time to let loose. The ritual for me is the way I put my clothes on. They have to be nice and neat. If you look good, you're gonna dance well. You're like an athlete training doing the show. And so I see why athletes have superstitions and things that they do. Because it makes you feel better. Our pre-show ritual with Tia is that we just don't see each other at all. We meet right before we come out to dance. We've been in such intense situations prior to show day that on show day we kind of just go like this. I'll go off to my trailer and just sit there quietly, you know, hum or sing to myself, just kind of calm down, just so that I can come back in with a clear head. Right before the show, Tony and I hold hands and Tony says a prayer and we take one last breath and the show starts and we just go out there and have fun. Amen. Preparing for the show this way helps me because I just get focused. I go in my dressing room, I put on my tunes, and I just do yoga. And it just feels right. It grounds me to the earth. It's harnessing the madness that's about to happen. I basically breathe, I meditate, and I lay out everything that I know I'm going to need. I plan my entrance and my exit. That's it. And when I do it, I know that I'm ready to do the show. If I miss any of those things, I'm a little offbeat. 
you got to pray and you got to thank the man up above for just giving you opportunity to do some of the things that you want to do. Amen. All the hard work is done. And now, just go and put on your clothes and get ready for the party. I think having the rituals and the superstitions is about having some form of control. Because when you get out on that dance floor and it's live, We're about to find out who those good luck rituals work for. The judges have done their part. You at home have done yours. Now, having combined the judges' scores and your votes, we can now reveal the first two couples who will definitely be dancing in next week's show. The first couple who are definitely continuing to the next round. Drew and Cheryl. Also back next week. Lisa and Louis. Cheryl and Lisa and Louie, for them the pressure is off for now, but which of our stars will join them in training for next week's dances and who's going home? We'll find out soon. We'll also have a hot and sexy number by International Salsa Champions and the Pussycat Dolls perform again. Join us in a minute. to our new all-live results show. Now, before the break, we revealed our first two couples, Drew and Cheryl and Lisa and Louie, who were saved by your votes, yes? Now we're going to find out from our experts who were their personal favorites and why. Carrie Ann? Well, actually, there were some really great performances last night. Congratulations to all of you. But Lisa and Louie, I thought you guys were spectacular last night. You were in the zone, and you found what the joy of dancing is all about. Congratulations. All right, Glenn. Well, I was most impressed with Jerry because the week before, his jive wasn't that fantastic. He came back and he was absolutely right on the line. Well done. Very nice. And Bruno. Drew, you gave 110%. You were right on the beat all the time. Authentic and yet contemporary in style. Fabulous. All right, that's what the judges think. We're going to find out your ultimate thoughts in just a little bit. Samantha? All right, everybody, get set, because it is carnival time. We've got a special treat for you. Please welcome international salsa dancers Yesenia Adame and Rodrigo Guzman, and they'll be accompanied by hot new Latin singer, Chelo. Child. I love the stick, put it in your lips I love the way you move your hips Living classy but sassy, I know that you're dancing for me Ladies, flappers, come to me I know I'm gonna watch your need Let's get a wild and cha-cha all night Show me how you move your feet, now let me see I got you going crazy My beat is fire, just crunk get louder tonight Ladies, flappers, come to me I know I gotta watch your need 